This is a video on how to install handles on an Anderson multi-point lock. Your handle should come with interior trim, a spindle, exterior trim, a foam handle insulator, cylinder, installation hardware and screws, a limiting plate, a hex wrench, lock actuator, keys, and you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. We have a door cross section here with our Anderson multi-point lock already installed. We just need to install the handles. The white side is the exterior side of the door, and the brown is the inside. Let's focus on the lock cylinder first. We need to install the actuator. This piece has a little cross-shaped head that fit under the hourglass-shaped hole. The actuator will be held in place by the limiting plate, which will be screwed into the lock cylinder. The cylinder will be installed from the other side. Tighten the screws so the cylinder and limiting plate are both still and secure. Let's now install the interior and exterior trim. The interior trim, the handle and plate with a thumb trim, need to be installed on the inside of the door. Carefully fit the thumb trim over the actuator tailpiece. Keep in mind that however you install it is the position the thumb trim will be in when the door is unlocked. Before fitting the exterior trim in place with a foam insulator underneath it, Make sure the spindle is inserted into the handle hole in the door. If both pieces of trim don't fit flush over the spindle on the door, you need to loosen the set screw on one or both of the handles. Once both trim pieces are in place, make sure the key cylinder works by testing the thumb turn or key. Test the handles as well. Once you've ensured that the handle set is correctly in place, tighten the set screw on both handles so the spindle is secure on the door. Screw the trim in place from the interior side of the door. Double check that everything works one more time before actually closing your door. Thanks for watching our video. For more information, please visit our website at www.allaboutdoors.com.